it's, it's fascinating to see how the very thing that you so crave and desire, if you just be that for someone else, that you will create it within yourself. You've talked before and we've talked about it on this show about if you need it, be it, um, which you've called the law of reciprocity. Um, so during these uncertain financial times, what are some ways that people can sow into others, even if they don't, they can't financially, um, all the while knowing they'll reap what they sow? Yeah, I mean, if you look at it biblically, it goes back to the widow and the oil. Um, you know, it wasn't until she started to pour uh, the oil into the jars that her sons had gone and collected from neighbors and friends. It wasn't until she began to pour that it began to multiply. And so, especially in the middle of a crisis and everything that's going on, especially people with jobs that they're being laid off or just not being allowed to come to work for obvious reasons, there's that scarcity mindset of like, I gotta protect all that I have because I may not have more of it. Um, and there's no better picture of that than seeing people at grocery stores like there's been so many pictures that have come out of like you know some young healthy guy with like a two carts full of stuff that he needs and some old lady that you know is like there's nothing left um, so if you think about that abundance mindset of just understanding that there will always be more um, the whole if you need it be it like the like tangible like real life example is like the things that you need um, you know, toilet paper, which for whatever reason, some people think that that's something that you need. Um, I promise by giving stuff like that away to people that really need it, you will never go without. Um, it's just, it just doesn't work that way. Um, but the big thing is like the more intangible of like hope and, you know, getting over uncertainty. Like if you are just feeling mass fear, like, reach out to other people and see how you can help them overcome their fears. And it's not exactly like reciprocity. It's not like you're doing that, like I'm gonna call Bob and I'm gonna say, Bob, you know, I know you've been going through some stuff. I'd like to be able to you know, help you. That you're gonna somehow get a call from someone else wanting to do that for you. But it's literally in just the process of doing that for them. It's almost like you're speaking it into yourself uh, as well. And so, I mean, if you think about like the things that someone right now like really, really needs in their life, well, how can you be that exact thing for somebody else and maybe even more than one person? And I promise you, you will get it back in return. But again, like back to the story from the Bible, like had she not poured, like nothing would have happened. Um, and so I remember the Elevation Sermon, which I stole in Nicaragua, which was like, when you feel poor, P-O-O-R, you don't pour, P-O-U-R. You think like, well, when I have more, then I'll pour. But it's actually when you pour, you'll be given more. So like, that's the, that's the shift of mindset, which is scary for people, especially if it's their first time doing that. Like, like, man, like I'm struggling right now to provide for my family, but I see this need in somebody else. How can I possibly help them? I can't help myself, but I promise you by helping them, you will help yourself.